Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be playing the flute when we um, do some practicing together and we're going to be practicing out of your lesson book. So if you haven't grabbed that yet, go ahead and do that. Um, pause the video if you need to, get your instrument, get your lesson book, and we're going to start with number 86. All right, we're going to be low tech today. We're not going to do any play alongs or anything like that because um, I know the sound quality isn't awesome. So we're just going to do some playing straight through. So let's start with number 86 just to kind of, uh, this is a great warm up. Okay, we'll do it without the repeat sign. Here we go. One, two, three. We're going to do it one more time, and this time I want you to really be thinking about those whole notes, stretching those whole notes out. Don't cheat. Make them a full four counts, um, and then take the time to take a breath where those breath marks are so that you have um, a full tank of uh, air to go the next two measures. Okay, let's do number 86 just one more time. One, two, three. All right, let's go um, down to number 87 next, and um, we'll continue on our warm up with this. Now, on number 87, um, we're going to make sure that we're using our tongue for every note, and we're going to make sure that um, we're tapping our, our toes because there's a little bit of an emphasis on rhythm here. Okay, so I'm having a little bit of trouble loading this song. If you've watched some of my other videos, you know that at this point um, I'm using a digital lesson book because um, I didn't think to bring at home a lesson book for myself. Um, so I'm just using one online. Okay, there it is, it finally loaded. So here we go, uh, tapping your foot, making sure that you're um, thinking the counts as you play. Also make sure you check out that key signature. All right, no repeat sign, straight through. Here we go, number 87. One, two, three. And just a reminder that key signature really counts in in the fourth measure. So make sure that you know um, what you're playing for the fourth measure. Let's do it one more time together. One, two, three. <gasps> I like that one. So next we're going to go um, right on to number 88. Now number 88 is one of those exercises that's easy for some instruments and um, challenging for other instruments. So I would say um, specifically clarinet players, um, make sure you review your low note fingerings. If you can't figure something out, send me a message and we'll work it out together. Um, refer to your low note fingerings. Um, if you need to look at a mirror uh, so you can check your bottom hand to make sure you're getting on the right keys. Um, that's that's really important. And um, since this is on YouTube, you probably know how to slow down videos if you need to. So clarinets in particular, if you need to slow this down um, when you practice, that's totally fine. We will not judge you at all. Okay, so number 88, make sure you check that key signature one more time. It's the same key signature as we had in number 87. All right, oh yeah, and make sure you notice that it's a two-liner, so we're gonna play both lines. No repeat sign. Here we go, one, 
two, three, four. And those last two measures, those are the tricky part. So you can um, slow that down if you need to, or just pause the video and go through that last two measures together. In fact, let's us do that. Just the last two measures, we're gonna go slower. One and two and last two measures. <laughs> And what makes that tricky is that it skips around in the last couple of notes. So if you need to practice that a couple of times, that's okay. That's cool. Go ahead and do that. The next exercise that we're going to do is number 90. Um, number 90 is variations on a familiar tune, and the familiar tune is Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. So the beginning part um, is pretty easy and very familiar. Uh, our goal is that as we go into the sections where there's a variation, that um, we can keep the same tempo or the same speed. The other thing that we want to do with number 90 is we want to make sure that we can still find that original melody in there. Okay, here we go. We're going to play it. Even though there's double bars in the middle of the song, it's still um, one song. So we're going to play it straight through from the beginning to the end. Here we go. Number 90, variations on a familiar theme. One, two, three. fumble at the end there. So um, variation two is definitely the hardest one um, because it has more notes. Variation one is the same uh, melody, but it adds in some eighth notes. So it's a rhythmic variation. The root word of variation is variety. So it just mixes. It's like a remix. And so it's still twinkle, uh, twinkle, but it has a variation or a new variety of um, the rhythm of that same tune. And then in variation tune, it really remixes and it gets to the point where it's um, the melody is uh, the new variation. Let's do that one one more time. Number 90, variations on a familiar theme. One, two, three. I'm sure you did a great job on that one. We're going to do one more today, and that's number 91, Banana Boat Song. Now, on the Banana Boat Song, there's a um, new technique, and it might be a review for you. This is something that you might have had in band class, um, even as fifth graders, um, but that's okay because it's good for us to review. And I'm still waiting for my music to load. It's loading slowly today in my, our internet and our house must be slow. But I'm pretty sure that it's introducing uh, DC all, oh no. Okay, finally my music uh, loaded so I could be sure I was saying the right thing. DC all fine, okay, good. So what that means is we go all the way through 
to in this exercise, it's the end where it says DC alphene. And DC means da capo, which literally translates into the cap. So we're going to go back to the cap, which means the beginning, al fine, which means until finished. So you're looking for the fine. No, it's not pronounced fine. It's fine because it's Italian. And the fine is at the end of the fourth measure. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the beginning. We're going to play all the way to the end of the second line where it says DCL fine. We go back to the beginning and play, and play until the fine, which is the end of the fourth measure. All right, glance through it so there's no surprises. And here we go. Banana Boat Song number 91. One, two, three, four. And that's the end. Okay, if you want extra credit, you can go uh, Google uh, or YouTube Banana Boat Song, and there's lyrics. It used to be a work song um, in the Caribbean when they would be picking the bananas, uh, loading them onto the boats so that, um, you know, people like us in the United States could have bananas year round. So um, Banana Boat Song is actually a work song that was used um, to, you know, keep keep the work moving and, and uh, so the workers wouldn't get too bored. Um, maybe you've done that. Maybe you've sung a song or whistled a tune while you're doing work and it makes it a little bit more pleasant. So we're going to practice this one more time. Hopefully you caught that DC all fine, but if you were not sure what was going on, I know you'll catch it this time because now you know where we're going. Okay, beginning to the end, to the fine, and we're going to play uh, number 91, Banana Boat Song. One, two, three. <laughs> guys. Um, that was a good practice session. I hope you enjoyed that. I liked playing the flute along with you. Um, remember, we can do this on any instrument. Um, I just happened to pick the flute today. And um, I hope you're having a great day. And thanks for joining me. Stay healthy and uh, do some fun things for yourself. And I'll see you later. Thanks a lot, guys.